Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, back again for another four three minutes with God. Uh, let us go ahead and get the clock set. Um, still in Romans twelve. Uh, today we'll be doing verse number nine. So starting in the clock. So Romans twelve verse number nine says, "Let let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good." Um, this is uh, one of my personal favorite verses um, because Paul is saying, let love be without hypocrisy. Um, when you see the word hypocrite used um, in the New Testament, um, it is basically defined as an actor, uh, one who plays a role, uh, one who, uh, I guess you can say one who acts one way uh, in front of man, knowing that he is another way in front of God, uh, one who who plays different roles, uh, and so what what Paul is saying is don't be don't let love be uh, as a as an act. So if you uh, are are you know loving your your fellow uh, your fellow Christian your fellow brother in Christ, then let that love be genuine. Um, and it's one of those things as that's, uh, to be honest, I believe that's one of the things that has hurt the church uh, uh, in, in so many ways is that there's there's been so much, um, hip so many hypocrites. And it's it's one of those things as, um, you know, that we are, are saying one thing, but our actions are showing something totally different. And Paul was saying not to do that. He said, let love be without any, any, without any falsehood and let it be genuine. Um, he says to abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Abhor is, um, is a, a very, very strong dislike. It's, it's almost borderline a hate. And so what Paul is saying is to, we, we should almost hate what is evil. Um, but yet we need to cling to what is good. Um, and it's it's one of those things as 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 he is saying it's it's pretty much he's, he's saying that we need to do away with and and try to try our best to remove and uh, remove sin and those sinful actions and to cling to what is good and we know that there is uh, that God is all good there's there's no evil there's no uh, sin there's no darkness or no nothing like that in God so he's saying that we need to. Um, basically just try to stay away from what is evil, but yet we need to uh, do our best to run to what is good. Um, and this is, like I say, this is one of my favorite verses. And so uh, as we uh, get ready to close today, I'll leave you with this, is don't let your Christian walk be an act. Uh, allow it to be genuine and, and uh, allow... God's love to flow through you to love everyone else. So God bless you and have a great day.